All right, so I'm going to demonstrate how to make two different styles of keychains that use a couple of different uh, basic macrame knots. And the first one we're going to try is our spiral keychain. And this just uses um, a half square knot. So to get started, you want two pieces of macrame cord that are going to be about 24 inches each. And we've got our key ring here. So when we get ready to attach these, we wanna have about one third of the length here on the inside, and then the other two thirds is gonna be on the outside. So with that set up, we're gonna take our piece and place a loop of it through our key ring, and then we're gonna feed the rest through that loop. And we'll pull that tight, and that's our first Lark's head knot, and then we're going to take this one and make our loop, and then we'll feed the cord through here and pull that taut. All right. And so now, as you can see, we've got our shorter pieces on the inside and our longer pieces on the outside. So this spiral keychain is just gonna be a series of half square knots. And to make those, what we're gonna do is take our left string here and place it over our two center strings and under the right. And then we'll take our right one and we'll place it under the two in the center and up through this little loop we've created. This is probably a great time to tape down your key ring so that it stays still while you're working. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, as you're pulling this taut, you may want to use your thumb to kind of hold these center strings down so they don't get bunched up. And so I'll show that one again. So this is just, the entire knot is just placing your left string over the two center and under the right going to take our right cord under the two in the center and up through that little loop there on the left. We're just going to pull these taut. And this is all you'll do to make your keychain is just repeating this knot and it's going to create a spiral pattern. Um, as you're making your knots, you'll feel this start to rotate and if you just kind of hold it taut, that's going to keep it in place. So you can just kind of keep making your half square knots until your keychain is about as long as you would like it to be. And you want to keep them about kind of the same level of tightness as you're going along. If you're having trouble with your center string staying in place, you can also kind of loosely tape those down um, and sometimes that can be helpful. So when you get your keychain about the length that you want, there's a couple ways that you can finish it off. Um, you can do just a little simple overhand knot where you take your cords and just feed them through. What I'll show you with our next keychain is that you can also wrap them in embroidery thread. And so we'll check out how to do that next. All right, our second style of keychain is gonna use a regular square knot. So you'll remember for our spirals, we were making half square knots. Uh, these are just gonna be repeated square knots to make this style of keychain. And as you can see, you can add beads to this one. So it's kind of a fun style. To get started, we are gonna start pretty much exactly as we did for our previous keychain. I, again, have two pieces of macrame cord that are about 24 inches long. I have done my two Lark's head knots to attach them to the key ring and I've taped down my key ring. And so the first half of this is exactly the same as what we did before. So we're gonna start by taking our left cord over the two in the center, under the one in the right. We're gonna take our right cord and then feed that up and through. And then we're gonna pull these taut the next step is uh, going to help us finish our square knot, and that's going to be pretty much the reverse. And so we're going to take our right cord over the two in the center and under the left. We're going to take the left under the two in the center and up through this loop we've created. And then 
we'll just pull that taut. And that is gonna be your square knot. And so we're just gonna be making a series of those. So again, it's gonna be your left, over and under, on your right, under and through. Pull that taut. And then it's gonna be the right, over and under, and the left, under and through. as easy as that and so as I mentioned you can add beads to your keychain you can really add these anywhere you like you can put them right at the top you can put them both down at the bottom you can put them in the middle whatever you like they're pretty quick to add you are just gonna slide your two pieces of center cord through the bead if yours are a little frayed like mine um, they may be a little tricky to get through there. If you have any trouble, sometimes using a pin to kind of push them through is helpful. And then we're just going to slide that right up against our knot, and then we're just going to keep making knots underneath it, and that's going to hold the bead in place. You could, if you wanted, um, actually decorate your beads before you add them with paint or with Sharpies or however you like, just to give a little extra color to your keychain. It is totally up to you. Now, obviously this is still a little bit short, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you would tie this off if it was already the length that you wanted. So what we're gonna do is with our keychain in the center, and our embroidery thread to our right. We're gonna get a little bit of thread ready. And we're gonna take it over, kind of at the point where you want this wrap to start. You're gonna take it over, under, and then you are gonna make a loop. And this is gonna help us tie it off when we finish. We're gonna have this loop, it can be a little bit fiddly, but you're just gonna wanna hold it about right here. And then you're gonna take this, and I'm actually gonna unattach this guy so I can lift it up. Keeping that loop in place, you are just going to wrap tightly around the bottom of your keychain. If you have less cord left at the bottom, this is a little easier, but you're just gonna continue wrapping, trying to keep those cords close, those threads close together. So it has a nice pretty finish. And you're just gonna keep moving down until the wrap is as long as you would like it to be. And then once you've got it, as long as you would like it, you're gonna come back up the other way. So we're gonna wrap back towards the top. And again, don't worry if it's not perfect from a distance, it will look great. And then you are going to trim your thread And you're gonna take that piece and feed it through your loop. And then you're gonna take the bottom piece that you have sticking out down here, take both of those. And this one I honestly just hold still. You don't really have to pull on it too much. This one I'm just pulling so that it draws my loop into the area that I've wrapped here. And so you can see it kind of disappears in there. And then once you've done that, you can just trim your ends and you'll have a nice end to your keychain.